Hey everyone, what we're going to do today is something different. It's new to me. Uh, it's a variation on a jig that I've done before, but there's a lot of different elements to this. Um, in the vise, we have a 1 8 ounce Arky head. Uh, I modified it to take that little wire keeper, and it's also going to use the smaller FG12 weed guard. Uh, I've done these before. But what's different about this one is the hook. Um, this has the new uh, Gamagatsu 4124, uh, I guess they call it the Big River hook. It's a sickle hook. And this is going to be big. There's a lot of guys I know that wanted to try a sickle hook, but they wanted more of a premium hook, um, something a little heavier. Mustad came out with the 32500. Uh, skipjack hook, good hook. It's a heavier wire than the Victory, um, the Eagle Claw, the old Matsuo. The uh, sharpness, it could have been sharper, but it was. It's not a bad hook. This Gamagatsu 4124 Big River hook. This is uh, about the same wire diameter as the mustad but it's got the cutting point on it it's wicked bad sharp uh again you got the premium hook that there's no flex at all to this uh it is stiffer so you can get away with throwing something like this this is a one aught um 10 10 12 pound line you should be perfectly fine uh with this hook. Really good one. So that's what we got here. The 8 ounce Arky head. And we got the Gamagatsu 4124 Big River uh, hook. Uh, Barlow's got these in. I was excited to order some of them. Because I wanted to. Get, they're expensive. They're they're up there. But I'm going to get a chance to see how the, the premium sickle hook holds up against uh, the mustad and the eagle claw i don't have any larger victory ones but i do have the li little nasties in you know one aught and two watt sizes and the same thing with uh the mustad 32 500 skipjack anyway i'm sorry for blabbing but uh another thing with this is the material we're going to use this is another idea I got from Adam over at SDG, and this is the moose hair. Uh, I seen him using it, and I thought, boy, you know, just based on his description and all, I'm going to give this a shot. It might be worthwhile. And um, what I came up with here is this is like a larger ugly bug uh, type of a, a tie. So we're going to do that. The color is brown. I call this the Muddler Collar Moose Craw Jig, or Big River Moose, whatever, whatever uh, you think. But it, it, it's again, it's just me messing around with some different stuff. Uh, the beginning of the year, I normally don't show it till after I use it, but uh, I thought these guys might want to see some of this. So we're gonna take some brown 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and get our base started. This is a real easy deal there. It, nothing fancy about it, but I, I think it looks really awesome, to be honest with you. So I'm going to take some moose hair. I just cut off a clump earlier to so save some time. And I just wanted to go a little bit beyond the hook, maybe, maybe an inch or so. Not a whole lot. This stuff is sort of... It, it, Adam was right. It, it's stiffer than... A, bucktail it's like the deer belly hair only it's a little bit longer uh a lot of things you can do with this i'm just scratching the surface here but we'll get our first clump here a couple loose wraps and then we're going to work it around i normally would tie this in 
in layers. See, I, I bumped that up a little bit. I, I should have had it back further. And now I got to get it to where it's even again. I apologize for that. Sometimes it happens. This is new. Like I said, I'm not used to working with this uh, yet. I've only tied a couple dozen jigs with this, so... Yeah, we'll square that off again. We could afford to take a little bit off. And a couple loose wraps. And then we'll work this around. What I should have done is tie it in in smaller clumps, but kind of excited I want you to see this because I, I thought it came out me personally I thought it came out pretty good this might be enough for the, the whole jig let's see now we're gonna pull it tight and work them butts down and I'm going real tight here against get some shorts against that little ball collar To get some flare. And you see it does flare pretty well. Now all I'm going to do is look around and see where I'm a little bit uneven at. And I got, I can add some. Not a lot, just a little bit. on the side here. And what I'm going to do is lay it in there with what I already have. Trim it down. And there we go. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna whip finish it. Five, six, cinch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, cinch. Now I'm not gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna take my water based head cement here. And it, this is where a pattern like this, this stuff comes in really handy because it dries so fast that we're not going to have to wait too much longer to put in our next material, which is this. It's, uh, oh, that's the moose. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is deer body hair, not belly hair, not bucktail it's deer body hair. It's dyed. Dyed deer body hair, and it's black. Uh, fly tires use it to spin because this hair is hollow, so it'll flare out. And what I do with this, the top, which is this part up here, this we want facing back. And the cut end, we want facing up. So I'm just going to lay it here. I'm going to uh, cut it right. I'm going to have the ends of this go down or right about the point of the hook. And I'm going to cut this flush with the collar. Maybe a little higher, but that's not a bad thing. So 
So now I'm going to lay this right on top and just make a loose wrap. And another one. Spread it out a little bit. Flip this up. And take another clump. And the same thing, I'm going to line it up. And then trim it off. I'm taking my time with this because uh, I'm actually making it a look a lot more difficult than what it is. And I apologize for that. Just I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Another loose wrap. Now I'm going to work this around to make sure I'm pretty even. And once I'm happy with where everything is at, I am going to pull it tight. And we flare it out. Wow, is that hook sharp. Ooh. Ooh. That will leave a blood trail if you don't pay attention. And now we're just going to do a quick whip finish. We don't have to do any kind of uh, any kind of head cement. We already did that. This is just a, a collar that's going over top of what we have tied in. <sighs> Pull it tight. Trim it off. And now we're going to add our weed guard. And then I'll show you what we have. And we're going to do the FG, FG12 weed guard here. A little bit of Loctite super glue gel. Just a drop. Take our FG12 weed guard. Pop it in there. And there you have it. This is just a, a, a larger ugly bug. But see how that sits? That's what you're going to get. Take a little tiny craw, a little um, zoom, a uh, tiny chunk, something that doesn't have a lot of bulk to it, and use that as your trailer. And there you have it. Your big river moose craw jig. I think it looks. I think it looks spectacular. To be honest, that that looks fishy. So there you have it. Really nice hook. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.